forcible rape, pregnancy by rape, all of these things versus women have an impact on President Trump, the presidential election on behalf of the Republican side when Mitt Romney actually supported one of those candidates who said that, you know, it was God's will if you can get pregnant after a forcible rape. Uh, I don't know if it did. I, I think it did to the extent that anytime Democrats are able to talk about look how extreme and crazy some of these Republicans are, instead of talking about the state of the economy and the slow recovery, I think that helps. But I think there's no question you've got the Republicans uh, really don't have control. It's not clear who's in charge of part. And they have, you know, you had one of the most preeminent, uh, Richard Luger, had he been running for re-election, he would have been a wall. And the Republicans like to have a very good chance of, of regaining the majority of the Senate. But instead, some of the Tea Party base, uh, you know, frankly, puts up these wacko candidates. And it's happened in the last two cycles. And, and as a result, the Democrats still hold the Senate. So I, I don't know that it has so much effect on the presidential. Well, in fairness, you know, Democrats have a few wackos that got elected over the that, but we won't get None of us. I do think it matters, let me tell you why. Particularly young women voters. You know, we had a straw poll at USF. We're the only university in the state that every election cycle we have a campus wide straw poll, and it's very telling and it gave us very active information. But one of the things that we found was when we asked younger voters where they got most of their information from, they said first and foremost, overwhelmingly television, followed by newspapers, particularly apps and low on the total poll of social media. So if you buy into the argument of television, I think one of the most powerful things, not so much those people that you're talking about, but I thought the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Amendment 6 ads featuring young women, that was probably a bit more powerful of a magnet to drawing for these younger women voters towards the Democratic side than the gentleman, and I say gentleman kind of loosely, Missouri. <laughs> Missouri, excuse me. And uh, the other thing that I'll say is it really made it what drove home with me because the early morning I had to go down to Northsap and I was at the polling location and the only signs that I saw, first granted it was 8 a.m. Okay, on a college campus, but the only group that had signs out there were young women 